Over the 2019 year, especially this summer, there is a big talk about the up and under, or otherwise known as a step through, as a travel. This all spurred after Candace Parker showed a great post move she does. However, NBA greats Kevin Garnett, Gary Payton, and even Carmelo Anthony's trainers disagree. They thought that this step through was a travel no matter where you play. And some of them even digged at the WNBA game saying, only in the WNBA it's not called, which clearly shows their ignorance and not understand the rules. Multiple people on Twitter got involved and you can see that a lot of people do not know if this is a travel or not. This video will look at the NCAA rules, NBA and FIBA rules to determine if this is a travel in any of the leagues that are played in or in the international game. Let's look at a couple of the videos that caused this controversy and this big debate and then break down what the rules actually state. Okay, Champions right. Here it is. So listen, we are talking about establishing posts here. Pivot foot and what's a walk and what's not a walk. So an NBA player is trying to tell a WNBA player what a walk is. That's basically what he is trying to say. So, 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 so this is what we're going to set up today. Candace is in the post. They threw it to her. She catches in the post. She gives a pump fake. Like a little K right. KG. Right. Jigger. Okay, so she I'm coming this way. She showed the ball. The ball is not touchdown. Jump. That's a pump fake. Right. He's going to jump. I no. jump. Uh. I step. That's Look. not a travel. At home, let me tell you. Girl, boy, Wait. that don't matter. As opposed to the NBA where it's just you don't even have to debate it. This... They be Euro in three. Okay, so that's a walk. That's a walk. They be right Euro in. At home, if you're they a post, be Euro post player. Euro in. Once I'm you establish your post, Euro you cannot move I'm your Euro. pivot. Oh, wait. You can, you can do all this. You can do the hug, the hug. You can give me all this. And one. Oh, Foul. yeah. On the arm. Picking it's up like the LeBron, pivot. Two shots. Video opens up with a reference to Candace Parker's, my guess, with the comment that's a WNBA move. We're about to see well known trainers with a big following be completely wrong on a move and have a big ignorant debate on it. I'm telling you. Craig, this is travel. This is not a travel, man. It's not. It's not a travel. It's not. That's travel? <laughs> this guy completely lost all credibility with that statement alone. Clearly, he does not know the rules with a comment like that. You actually can do that, and multiple NBA players do that. That's called that by the rule book, it's not. Because you can pick up your pivot foot, you can't put it back down. You can pick it up to pass or shoot. My philosophy is whatever the refs call a travel is a travel. Whatever they don't call a travel oh, isn't a travel. That's the safest way. Yeah, that's nasty. I'm jumping. That's the nasty way right there. <laughs> No! Get the box, too. Get the set. Get the touch. Let me try it. They call it. They call it. No, that's definitely not. That one would be. He didn't pick it up. See, that's the same time he's doing the whole time. I'll be there in the front row and be like, oh, I told you they were going to pick it up. If he goes off two, he covers less ground. He gets closer to the rim going off a one. Video on the left is when they told him that's a travel. Video on the right is when they said he didn't travel that time. So let's compare the two. As you can see, it's the exact same move, yet they have two different opinions on if that was a traveler or not. These trainers aren't even on the same page for the exact same move and Melo even tells them that's the same thing I've been doing the whole time. Let's counter the first point. They say it only happens in the WNBA and not the NBA. There are multiple videos on YouTube that you can find of compilations of the up and under move and it clearly isn't a travel. A lot of NBA players use it. Here are a couple of highlights that show that NBA players use it and it's completely legal.
NBA Rulebook, Section 13, D. If a player with the ball in his possession raises his pivot foot off the floor, he must pass or shoot before his pivot foot returns to the floor. So you're going to see similar wording across the other three rule books, and that basically means once he picks it up, he has to shoot or pass. So Mello was completely legal according to the NBA rules. The FIBA rulebook, which is used for the international game, we look at 25.2.1, and we go to the third point. To pass or shoot for a field goal, the player may jump off a pivot foot, but neither foot may be returned to the floor before the ball is released from the hands. Similar wording to the NBA rulebook, which means the step through is also legal for the international game in the FIBA rules. The last one is the NCAA rulebook, so college basketball. Article 5. After coming to a stop and establishing the pivot foot, the pivot foot may be lifted but not returned to the playing court before the ball is released on a pass or a try for a goal. Same situation, just different wording to describe that you can lift the pivot foot as long as you're passing or shooting, which means Mello's footwork for this up and under and Candace Parker is legal for the NBA game, the WNBA game, the international game, and the college game, resulting in every trainer being wrong, and I don't understand why this is so much confusion when all levels they play at or they train at allows for this step through. It is important to note that the WNBA rulebook was not shown because it is identical to the NBA rulebook on traveling. Same section and article for those that are interested in checking it out. This video is going to end with WNBA highlights to show that they do have skill and footwork contrary to what the guys have been saying.